concerned these tattoo emails because I am now booking appointments. I'm gonna make an Instagram post here in a minute. So tattoo emails, oh, I look crazy. Tattoo emails have been answered. That's crooked. Uh, emails have been answered. And if you wanna get tattooed, I basically can book out until March. And yeah, you can email me and we'll work it out. So Teddy tattoo me at gmail.com. Wait on her to get here. And then we're gonna go figure out this boot situation. Why? He's right. He just walks in the building. He goes, I need the 11th floor. And I'm like, okay, this is weird. So I'm literally standing with him on the elevator. We're standing there. He turns, we get off the elevator. He turns the other way. I go, okay, cool. Then he goes, oh no, wrong way. And he just literally follows me the entire way. My man is here. I'm like trying to send an email. He's just walking casually. And as I get to the door, he goes, oh, he goes, good thing we're not going to the same apartment. I was figuring you could have saved me a lot of trouble in the elevator. I'm just like, no. I wonder what apartment he's going to. Wait, he just walked that way? He went past you. There's only two apartments down there. I bet it is your boy because, uh. There's not like a squad. Crazy. <laughs> That's funny. You're all paranoid and shit. Yeah, dude. Because I literally. What would I be getting arrested for? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he's crazy. I, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe not even arrested. I'm just like, I don't even deal with this guy. Yeah, wow. that's funny. You should, you wanna roll up? Yeah. Right. Yes. Oh, what happened? Yes, good man. Off. Yes. 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 Off. Yes. Yes. Go do dog stuff. Whew. Got everything I'm there. Around by Even though I'm really trying not to spend any money, but it's all good. Yeah, I mean, it's funny that it ends up costing me. It's kind of an L that I like. Was like, I have to get the more expensive boot. Yeah, I gotta get the top of the line. And everybody's like, dude, that's like a stiff ass. Fucking snowboard boot, like for a pro who's jumping on a mountain. Horses are comfortable. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. I probably should have just gone with the regular boot. Uh -oh. Sometimes uh, ordering the most expensive thing on the menu is not in your taste. It's true. You know what I'm saying? But it's also going to motivate me this year, you know, get the big boys, big boy jumps. Go party. Get on with yourself. Go party. You might not need to. It's fine. All right, cool. Ciao, Omi. Omar, inside. Come on, go. Inside. Omar, in the house. Go, go in. So wait, we're already could be headed the wrong way. Now I will. Now you gotta, you gotta do it. I'm like, trying to get directions. You gotta do it like you're in the car since we're not driving. All right. So 0.3 miles away. It seems like the car is almost 0.3 miles away. Yeah, so. So we might as well just walk. Get the boots heat fitted and walk home walk and home. Them. Yeah, that's how you, you're supposed to walk around for 15 minutes. I think this is all shit that I've seen on the internet. I believe everything I see on the internet. This is true. Whoa! Blast it loud. Hold on. This is. This camera's falling apart before Straight. our eyes. Basic construction. Let's see. Train. Let's see. Let's see. Our hat, see how long before we kick that? Yes! I mean, Logan Paul's done. Someone's gotta take the reins. That's our chance. Yeah. I mean, we both look like construction workers, sort of. These blueprints just start waving shit around. <laughs> gotta find parking up there, and it's hell. We don't have to find parking, we're walking. Excuse me, ma'am, can I ask you some questions about your dog? Do you know what your dog has on feet? <laughs> anybody with a name badge hey. none of you I don't care if you're a fucking hospital worker <laughs> come at me with that badge on I'll turn I'm the out. camera off <laughs> yeah <laughs> turn the camera off <laughs> that was awesome. what are we doing now nothing so uh, today actually somewhat mellow I guess I snowboard shop I told myself I wasn't gonna buy a snowboard and then we went there and I saw a snowboard I like and then they didn't even have my size but then I came home I just looked it up, you know, just for like fun. And long story short, I ended up ordering the snowboard. So I got a new snowboard coming on the way. I got the Solomon Villain Snowboard. Uh, that one right there. 
Unexpected expense today, but seems like we're gonna be up there a lot and my snowboard's like four years old. Hype, hype, hype about that. And now I just wanna go back to the mountain. So probably this week is something. Um, and then yeah, working out production stuff like for the next few months, I've been doing a lot of drawing. Just trying to get ahead of everything. Got a lot of busy work to do. Wasn't able to stream today. Still, that is considered a mellow day for me, I guess. But um, so yeah, I'm gonna finish drawing tonight. I'm basically just got a bunch of stuff to work on tonight. Might be on Twitch later. Uh, but no shoes in the mail. And I was even thinking like, I can't even think of anything that I have. I don't think I have anything on the way, which is fine. Cause there's a ton of shoes in there. I haven't really got the chance to enjoy yet. So I'm really not upset about it. It's totally cool if the shoe thing slows down for a couple of weeks or months, especially after this last quarter of this year. The only thing on the way is Ern has the NMD racers. He caught the NMD racers. So those are on the way for him. We'll, we'll review them for you, but I really can't think of anything I have coming. Well, we'll see. I could be wrong, I don't know. But speaking of shoes that are coming out, or shoes, this is everything that's coming out uh, that's kind of on the radar as far as pass or not pass, you know, whatever. These are shoes that are coming out. On February 1st, there's the fifth anniversary Ultra Boost, which is basically an Ultra Boost with the same coloring as the original Energy Boost. So it's basically an all black upper. Uh, this one has 3M hits and it's got a little bit of like yellow detailing here and there. It's not a crazy shoe. I mean, like it's just kind of a collector shoe, I feel like. I think some people will like it. Some people obviously think just Boost can do no right if they don't you know reinvent the wheel every time they drop but it's a cool shoe i don't know if I'll, I'll probably cop it honestly just because i like the 3m aspect and i like the yellow and i like the fifth anniversary thing so um but yeah it's not a crazy release and i don't expect people to go nuts but it is coming out futurecraft 40 is coming out this year i get this question a lot i have the 3ds still i didn't sell them yet which i still want to sell them I just because I don't wear them, but um, 40s, will I get them? Most likely, uh, but I don't have really opinions on it. I don't know. I really like the way the shoe looks. Obviously, it kind of just looks like an ultra boost with a new sole. I'm interested to see how it feels, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, just like you guys, but uh, I don't know. I'm not going crazy over it yet because I really just don't know. We all know the releases are going to be super dumb, so it's just going to be annoying. Even though I'm plugged in, I'll probably be able to get them no problem. Um, it still could be a clusterfuck. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I am interested in at least trying them. Probably what I'm looking forward to the most as far as what's been announced, just it is something new. The NMD Racer did drop, as I stated, Earn got them. They also dropped the NMD STLT, which I didn't like any of the STLTs, but this one colorway actually kind of looks really awesome on foot, so I may pick that shoe up. I saw the renderings of it and the side profiles of the shoe. I really didn't like it, but this one colorway is standing out to me just a little. This is part of the Urban Racing Pack from Adidas, so, um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm interested to see what the racer is like. And uh, like I said, we may pick up this STLT. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't even looked really yet. Uh, there's a Dragon Ball Z collab coming with Adidas this year. Seven different shoes. I don't really know what shoes there are. One has been leaked already. There may be more, but I've only seen one. Um, I really have no idea about this. I'm not, I didn't come up for, with Dragon Ball Z. I never really watched it. Uh, like just, just, yeah, I just didn't watch it. So I don't know a lot about it other than that people go Super Saiyan. Uh, and I've seen people on the internet going Super Saiyan or trying to, attempting Super Saiyan attempts. Uh, I don't know much about it. I'm interested to see just because because it's new shoes, but I don't know if the Dragon Ball Z part will draw me in. So I really come down to just like what shoe it is and you know, yeah, basically if there's an ultra boost, we'll probably take a look at it. Uh, triple black, blah, 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 blah. Triple black laceless drops in the UK in January. It's also a 3M shoe. That looks really nice. I'll most likely picking that shoe up. I don't wear my laceless a lot. I do still wear them sometimes, but I like the triple black one. Um, so I'm, prob I'm probably gonna cop it. Uh, next Yeezy V2s that we're getting, there is there is the sesame colorway in August, and then there's another yellow colorway, which is the ice yellow. Uh, ice yellow is in June. Both colorways are nice. They're a little bit more muted. One is just cream, basically like a cream Yeezy with a gum sole. Uh, people are either gonna love or hate it, I guess. Because same thing with the ice yellow. It's a little, it's a little bit of a muted, just kind of like it honestly looks just like a smiski sort of. But it's that color yellow. But yeah, I like both. They don't have the crazy zebra patterning. Uh, regular solid colorways, no patterns. You know, I know a lot of people are sick of V2s, but I mean, we, can, we can't just have five colors, so. I'll probably cop both of those. I love V2s. I don't see why I wouldn't. So there's this crazy basketball shoe called the Adidas, a crazy BYW level one. This shoe is nuts. I really don't know much about this shoe. I just see it all over the place and I get asked all the time what I think. Uh, it releases January 27th at basketball. 
basketball retailers and then February 15th everywhere else. It's crazy. I really don't even know what to think. I kind of want to get them just to play basketball in them. Yes, I still play basketball at the gym. Camera's falling. Uh, when I have the time. Oh my God. Uh, yes, I still play basketball at the gym when I have the time. Last couple of weeks, I haven't had that much time. Life is calming down a little bit, I think. I'm trying to calm it down. You know, like I do like that Adidas is trying new things. Some of the new things they're trying, I really am not into, but still trying new shit. I'm not gonna fault them for it. The undefeated release. So there's been leaked photos forever of the undefeated Ultra Boost. It's whatever, you know, it's not an amazing collab, obviously. I think this is the first time we've seen an Ultra Boost with you know, like taping on it. So that's cool, I think. I just liked being able to see that. You know, like the letter is not the toe box. Um, I do like the toe box taping on this one because it kind of pulls away from the, uh, I guess like the horizontal stripes that run across the shoe in the 4.0. So I do kind of like that look, but uh, it's a pretty lazy collab. It just is undefeated on a black pair of shoes and a white pair of shoes. So um, I don't know, I'll probably be able to cop with ease. So I may grab them, but it's not a crazy collab. Like it's not anything nuts. I mean, you basically gotta be a pretty big undefeated fan for those, I feel like, so. We'll see, I mean, maybe it looks different on feet, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not like, I'm not losing my mind over it. It's not the most exciting collab of the year, that's for sure. Then there is the Juice NMD Racer, uh, also known as the, as the Clot Alien Egra pattern. Uh, we call it Tribal generally, but the Alien Egra pattern has been around for over 10 years with Clot. They use it a lot. That rhymed. It's pretty much a staple for them. I've always hated it. I've never ever liked it. I do like tribal and tattooing as long as it's drawn well. I just don't think that the clock pattern really flows that great. I just, I never have, I never probably will, and I certainly don't want it on shoes. To each their own, some people love this shoe. It's one of those, if you love it, you love it. If you hate it, you probably really hate it. There's a white pair that's the friends and family pair, which you can actually sign up to win on Clot's website. Yeah, uh, the release is the 13th at Juice Hong Kong, and then the rest of the consortium retailers get it on the 20th. i pretty positive this is a strong pass for me. I don't see what would change my mind. But uh, yeah, some people will really, really love it. It's just it's just not for me. So another thing that people are asking, this POD system that is releasing, this new pod, POD, Adidas model, Easy Mafia leaked. Um, I'm not sure. It's different. It's very strange to me. I don't, there's a few things, like this. these shoes, like the Pro Feeder and this just look like EQT, I'm not gonna say rip-offs, but they're definitely heavily influenced. And maybe some of these uppers have been thinned down differently there. The EQT upper isn't exactly thin, you know, so maybe there's a difference in the way these fit. I just really don't know yet. My problem with the POD is just that it's got a boost heel pad, you know, or a pod, a boost heel pod. That part's a little weird, like, but I don't know, like, I don't know if there's some sort of discovery that if you have it in the heel, it's gonna feel different and just having a regular foam forefront of the foot. I, I really don't know, or forefront of the shoe. I just know it looks weird to me. Like, I don't know why it's not all boost. I also didn't make the shoe, so I, you know, and they're not in my hands. Uh, the colors, eh, there's like one color. I like the one colorway. The black with the blue hits. I like that colorway. The rest of them are kind of like meh. But there's just so many similarities to the shoe. Like the upper has like a Yeezy quality. The whole shape of the shoe is kind of Yeezy-esque. EQT 9317-esque. Just kind of seems like they're breaking down these same models. Changing a few things. And again, maybe those things are for the better. I don't know yet. But... There's only so much they can do. You know, it's like Taco Bell. It's like Taco Bell never comes down anything new. They just like switch ingredients around and call it the Fiesta sauce. Kind of feels like the same thing with little changes, but I'll wait to see the changes first. Then I'll make my comments, I guess, my official comments. Um, I think this is just a representative of where we are with Boost. Uh, and this is why a lot of people hit me up and talk about like Boost is dead and this, that, and the third. And it's because we're now, like I said earlier, we're now five years in. So now Adidas as a company is using the technology in different ways and it'll be interesting to see what they do, uh, see where it goes, see if we get new models that people, again, are freaking out over. Uh, some people will never care, and that's fine too, but right now, um, still Ultra Boost, Ultra Boost mids for me. There's definitely some great shoes that have come out in the last year, but uh, I'm really interested to see what they do with uh, just all the different boost things. Should be an interesting year, nonetheless. Um, but yeah, that's what's coming out. I think that's what I'm copying, not cop. I've said what I'm gonna cop, what I'm not gonna cop. But the other shoe that's coming out this year that I have been like blown up over, like every day, is the re-release of the Nike Air 180 in the OG Ultramarine colorway. So if you don't know, the Nike Air 180 is my favorite shoe that ever came out through Nike. That's like, I wore, 
I wore them a lot. The Nike Air 180 is re-releasing for, I guess now they're doing Air Max months because a day is not enough, I guess. Maybe this is not a new thing. Maybe they've been doing months, but I always thought it was just a day. So they're uh, they're re-releasing the Air 180, and I would expect to see a bunch of Air 180s this year, honestly. We already know there's gonna be a Comma des Garçons. Uh, so I just think they're just revamping the model again. To me, it's a little bit too late. I know everybody wants to know if I'm gonna cop. I'm definitely not copping the OG Ultramarine colorway. That wouldn't happen. Um, I don't think that shoe is going to compare to Boost now. Would I cop it for a comparison for the channel or whatever? You know, like, would I maybe grab one just to, like, compare and have fun with it, maybe, you know, but uh, I don't think it's gonna compare anymore. It's still just a 20 year old shoe that I'm used to wearing and I was just sad about not being able to get it. But yeah, I don't really think that um, the old 20 year old technology is gonna compare still, even though Nike likes to re-release things to promote new things, which is what they're doing because they're dropping this Air Max 270 and they're, you know, this is what Nike does. Nike marketing is Top notch, you know, like their marketing department crushes Adidas' marketing department. So uh, some of these things, I mean, just from that perspective, just make total sense and I get it, but I don't necessarily think it's gonna make me run out and cop the shoe. Trying one on again after however many years since one, 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 no big deal, but we'll see how it, I don't know. I can't even believe I'm talking about copping a Nike because I really don't want it. I just, anyway, um, okay, that's it. That's my day. I'm gonna get out of here. I will see you lovely people tomorrow and I'm out. Peace.